Now to the fires in the Inland Empire. They are filling the skies with thick smoke on top of the heat mm -hmm. and bad air people are dealing with. KKL News reporter Nicole Comstock live now in Moreno Valley with the very latest for us. Nicole. That's right, you guys, and that big ceiling of smoke was visible right from the 60 freeway during the evening commute tonight. This evening, over 680 firefighters are working on those three different fires, and smog from this heat wave won't be doing anyone any favors this weekend. The flames were so strong, they plowed right through this building on Ricci Canyon Road in Moreno Valley, quickly destroying an outbuilding, too, in near triple digit temperatures. A couple of burrows were caught on camera running away from the danger and sticking close to a friendly photographer in a safer place on the property. That was a scene from just one of three large brush fires burning a total of more than 3,000 acres in Riverside County. Cal Fire and all the sheriffs are doing much work as they can. I appreciate all of them. The other two are the Highland Fire in Beaumont, which briefly prompted an evacuation order, and the Rabbit Fire in unincorporated Lakeview, which is the largest in size and currently has a portion of Highway 79 shut down. The three fires are sending an incredible amount of smoke up into the skies during the third day of a week-long heat wave that was already causing extreme smog to blanket much of the IE in L.A. County, making the air quality here unhealthy. That's always the lovely icing on the cake, isn't it? You can always count on a fire in California nowadays. Grace and her family noticed the nasty air on their drive from Long Beach to an even toastier Palm Springs and wonder what it will be like there this weekend, since winds from the west are expected to blow the smoke from these fires to the east, and it could hit 115 degrees there. We were thinking of going to the pool, but now maybe, maybe not, I guess. Moreno Valley, Beaumont and Banning could see the worst air quality this weekend, and that's because we're expecting possibly up to 25 mile per hour winds blowing the smoke from these fires right their way. And of course, they already have the smog in those areas from this prolonged heat wave. Reporting live in Moreno Valley, I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL News. Nicole, thank you. Now to this, Hollywood has gone dark tonight. SAG after actors have now joined Writers Guild members on strike against the studios. Yes, it is the first mm -hmm. time for actors.